That is not what? Salvation. Amen. A lot of people can be misled. That's, That's why right. we give you the word of God. Amen. Smart stuff. Yeah. The Bible is the chart for your smart stuff. Amen. Amen. Three of them. Now, there's other brands. I ain't fighting the other brands. But this is for me. This is for me. Amen. Total Cheerios and smart stuff. Read the last three verses. The last three verses. Wives, uh -huh. submit yourselves unto your own husband All right, why? as it is fit in the Lord. Talking about getting married? Yeah, I talk to sisters, they talk about getting married. Son. I, 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 know, I know. If you don't have the joy of the Lord, which is your strength, don't talk about no getting no married. And please don't come to me. Man. I ask you to pick me a couple of eggs with toast and, and some... Uh, and, a, and some beef hamburger that I done bought. Well, I don't feel good. I ain't cooking nothing this morning. No, you can keep yourself. Don't even come my way. Don't even come my Later, alligator. After a while, we say crocodile. Y'all understand what I'm saying? And the same way with your wife asking the husband to fix a couple of eggs. Then he got time to do it. You just. <laughs> All you were looking for to satisfy your flesh. Get up. That's what I did when my wife till she died. I cooked her food. Good. She wait till I come home from my little job. I cooked her food. Washed her and everything. Oh yeah, I'm getting down. When your husband and wife get sick, you wash them. Amen. Wash everything. That's right. Did you hear what I say? It's for better or for worse, for sickness and health, till death. Is that right, Big and Oki? That's what it said. Oh, we are widowers. We can talk to big stuff. The tough talk. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Going around. Yeah. So, yeah, anybody can look good when they're looking good. But when you get sick on your bed, your hair standing all up and everything, breath smelling and everything, you and your wife tell you, hey, man, honey, I don't feel good. What's wrong with you? She need love and tender care. We teach this in the church of God, but they done wore it down now. And that's why we got just as many broken marriages in the churches as in the world. Man. And it's a lie. And it's the truth, too. Man. The living in this condition is a lie. Talking about you saved. You can't get along with your husband, wife. It's a lie. You're living a lie. Read. Finish that up. Finish it up. Husband. Yeah. Husband. Love your wife. Love your wife. And be not bitter against him. Now, if you want to be a, I don't know, I ain't in your business, who ain't not, not married. If you're not married, you read the 31st chapter of Proverbs. Yeah, it is. Yeah. You want to be a virtuous woman? Right. Yeah. You work, help me, and help me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Help me, help me. Yeah. And uh, the fifth chapter of Ephesians deals with the husband. You're supposed to love your wife even as Christ loved the church. Amen. Good God Almighty. Amen. Woo and even gave his life. Yes, he did. Supposed to love your wife. Amen. Yeah. Talking about when you get the Holy Ghost. Now, you ain't going to do this when you're my man. I can't, I can't take it. Yeah, I talk to him. He's married. And I know an African situation where there's about three or four I work for this maid uh, with this uh, millionaire. He uh, has, um, I get a little few crumbs, a little piece of penny, but uh, I thank him anyway. But he's got a 24-hour maid. And she, every time I turn around, she's talking about her, in her family, their husband and wife don't get along. Mm -hmm. Africa, I talked to one woman, and she said, uh, 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 you, you, the African men are just as bad as the American men. Well, I say, you ain't talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to lay it on the line. Do you hear what I'm saying? And then, I, then that's a chance for me to witness to her mm -hmm. about what it calls for, what it takes for a man to love his wife. He's got to be born again. Amen. Amen. If you don't have the joy of the Lord, don't have the spirit of God, you ain't going to have because you ain't going to agree on everything. Amen. You're going to get nasty. I said nasty. Yeah, you heard me. Yeah. You can get nasty with one another. Your little pretty face and your little nice looking self and your little handsome self can get low down nasty. Yeah. Mm. Yes, I'm saved. Yeah. What you gonna do about it? Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, I'll tell you, flesh is a mess, isn't it, Dick? That's right, that's why Sister Michelle worked on the flesh. 
all the time, boy, she burned some of these sisters and there were some whores in the choir and she, she called them out. Hmm. She did that? Yeah, whores, the whore mongers. You know, took that to Miss Yorkshire, she didn't play with them. She, she helped the elder out a whole lot. She called them out. Amen. Read on. Amen. Children, obey your parents children, in children. all things. Children, obey your parents in all things. Nobody, well, I don't want to pick up no, what's mama talking about? Don't pick up no song. I ain't got no time. I had to watch the TV. I got a special program. Mm -hmm. Yeah, children. Man. Do what? Obey. Obey. Don't go astray. Obey. Read. The parents in all things. How many things? All things. Yeah, because Pull. your parents are going to tell you what's right. When, well, this they're the, when, when they're in the Lord. Read. For this is well pleasing is well unto, pleasing the, Lord. unto the Lord. Read. Man. Read. Fathers, provoke not your children to anger. Yeah, father. Father, lest they be discouraged. Lest they be discouraged. You got to know how to talk to your sons. Man. I know how to talk to your sons, father. I got two beautiful sons. And, and, and what I tell my two boys, I got two of them. One of them is 45, junior. He's a, he's a pastor down in Buford, South Carolina. In fact, I'll be going down there in June. He wanted me to preach at his church. So pray for him. Man. He's a cop. He's a cop also. He, he, he investigates uh, people who, in arson, who burn up churches and who burn houses. Mm -hmm. So he got a very strenuous job. He work out of his home with the computer and everything, so pray for him. Mm -hmm. My other son got a job working at the TV station. He's an anchorman. He's a journalist in, to, uh, in uh, Charlotte. So pray for him. They say, say we don't tie. We, sometimes we don't agree, but I don't provoke him. I tell him this. I said, look here, boys. Look here, boys. Whatever I taught you, your mama taught you, you can throw it right back on daddy mm -hmm. and get glad. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because I can't whip him no more. It's all over with. But I can show whip him with the word of God. Do I have a witness? And I talk nice to him. I talk nice to him. Whatever I taught you, boys, it still stands. That's right. You may come with this new stuff, this liberal stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they know, and my daughter-in-law, I treat them nice. I say, because my sons tell them, I just treat my daughter-in-law nice. It's no argument. Because I got it from the Word. Taught how to treat my daughter-in-law right, my little grandbaby right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Now, they can do what they want to because they're, they're on their own. They're grown. Repeat this after me. They are grown. They are grown. And on their own. On their own. Yeah, I don't have to buy no food for them. <laughs> yeah, man, that's, good. that's happy news to me. Read some more, please. I'm finishing up here now. Servants <laughs> obey in all things. Servants, if you're working with somebody. I cook for, man, cook for 97. Like they both 97 years old, both of them. One I wheeled in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Got plenty of money and everything, but lack of Jesus. That's right. And when my, and one of them, I'm just telling you, this is confidential. When I rolled this other one in, sometimes he cuss, hallucinate. What you gonna do, Ella Russell? I'm gonna tell him about Jesus. I said, right. Jesus never cussed. <laughs> Amen. Tell him about Jesus. You all have a witness. Witness, and, and sometimes you just keep your, that you like, and then sometimes I, what, what do you think about Jesus? He said, Jesus is a good man. And sometimes he cussed me out and then turned right around and called me a good man, too. Mm. You know God is good. Isn't that wonderful? Very good. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? And I tell him, thank you. Mm -hmm. All forgive me. If we don't forgive one another, their trespasses, neither will our Heavenly Father. What? Forgive us. That's right. That's right. Your masters according to the flesh, yeah. not with our service as men pleases, yeah. but in singleness of heart, yeah. Fearing God. Amen. How many more verses there? Amen. We got a few more. We got a few more. Go ahead and read. And whatsoever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord. Do it heartily. You come to church, you do it heartily. Pay your tithes and your offerings, you do it heartily. Working on the job, doing cutting the grass at home. Washing mm -hmm. the dishes. Why say when you wash the dishes? That ain't my job. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is, too. Mm -hmm. Sweep the kitchen. Take out the trash. Man. Then cut the grass. Mm. So that you can last. Yeah. yeah. Go to the grocery store and everything. Yeah. And that don't make your wife lazy. You're helping out, especially if she's working eight hours. What are you talking about, man? I'm bringing a check for two. I better leave that.
that low. <laughs> and whatsoever you do, do it holy as to the Lord and not unto men. Thank you. Knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of inheritance, yeah, for you serve the Lord Christ. You're not serving the pastor apart from serving the Lord Christ. Man. You're not serving one another apart from serving the Lord Christ.